When you think of crazy weather events last year, you probably remember the Greensboro tornado or Hurricane Florence. And who could forget Hurricane Michael and that snowstorm in December? They were all different, but they shared a common element, rain. We set a record in our area for most rain in a year. Chief Meteorologist Tim Buckley breaks down if it's a trend that could continue. I've got to tell you, every time I put rain in the forecast now, I get reactions. Seriously, Tim? I'm done with this. I'll never get this trim work caught up. Listen, I totally get it. We've had a lot of rain for a long time. In fact, you could argue it's never been wetter. We smashed the record for most rain in a year back in 2018, more than 60 inches of rain. The last six months of the year, well, they were the wettest six months on record too, getting more rain in half a year than Seattle. <laughs> Seattle typically gets in a regular year. Just how much water is that? Let me show you. If you look at all the rain that fell in the News 2 viewing area in 2018, you could fill an Olympic-sized swimming pool 11 million times. Here's another perspective. All that rain could fill North Carolina's largest lake, Lake Norman, nearly 22 different times. But why is it raining so much? Well, as you might expect, the answer is a little bit complicated. Let me try and break it down for you. First of all, 2018 had some really extreme weather. We had Florence, then Michael. That's a lot to handle in just a short amount of time. Both of those tropical systems hit North Carolina hard, bringing flooding issues across the state and dumping feet of rain. Even outside of the tropical systems though, the rain kept coming. Part of that has to do with El Nino, that pattern you hear us talk about from time to time. Here in the Southeast, El Nino can mean we get more frequent storm systems during the winter. And that was definitely the case this year. In fact, Taran and I talked about this back in our winter forecast during the fall. But we're gonna have a good amount of moisture. Typically in El Nino winters, we get more rainfall and more precipitation on the whole compared to average. The above average rainfall has continued into 2019, although it has started to slow down. April's rainfall was just about average. Even if it did rain every Friday, that's just bad luck. Now, will this last forever? The short answer is no, it won't. El Nino's still here, and actually during the summer months, that can mean drier weather. But consider this, with a warming climate, research shows that more intense rain events could become more common. And that might mean that in the future here in the Piedmont, just more aggravation for those of us trying to mow our lawn.